Clutch time, we do not flinch. Real brothers, we do not switch. Hit home runs with the right pitch. Who run the city? What to do when they hating on you? I feel like Kobe 2010. I ain't taking an L, all I need is a win. This is his business, you know how they go. You playing the seats, now it's on the ground. Tune in now, gotta be in the know. Showtime, bitch, my butter blow. Woo! I ain't seen from now. Bowser is really, I'm just trying to Welcome back. Welcome back. We are here. Full squad is here. We got Miles back from health and safety protocols, baby. Miles, smooth operator, just celebrated a birthday. More life. Davenport, how you doing tonight? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better than last week. I mean, y'all ain't want me here last week, so. <laughs> of course, we got Greg, Mr. Hot takes the beach your mother sends me. You know, it's funny. One of the, you know, some of the people when we ask them what they're looking for, you know, they actually said they want some more hot takes. So I guess they was talking to you. They want you to go back to vintage Greg. Well, how you doing tonight? I'm good. I'm, I'm good to get back to vintage Greg. I, I gave y'all the the Tyler Heroes Junior uh, Devin Booker Junior take. Y'all yeah, didn't like that one? Yeah, they wasn't rocking with it. That was yeah. Off the, the poll, they was not rocking with that, it. Okay, that's fine. You see, if I know I'm right, when you guys want to be rookie, how about that? <laughs> yeah, CJ Buddy Bags, how you doing tonight? Good man. Cincinnati driving in college football and in the NFL. See, Greg can't relate to that, but that's okay. He 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 gonna he gonna watch. I would rather I would rather be horrible than for Cincinnati for that's, that's, Ohio. That's that's yeah. dumb. I would rather be, I'd dumb. rather be horrible. Than for I could rock with you. That's, that's I appreciate it. it. That's He's, exactly what being prideful is. Really, Ohio. Yes, He's Ohio <laughs> to the bone, bro. Yeah. He's really never Ohio. said. He's not from, from Ohio. Ohio. You're not from Ohio. What you mean? My, my, I'm not from Ohio. I wasn't born there, but my, my family is. What's so, that mean? So my my dad was, fan too? Yeah, my dad was born and raised in Ohio. My grandparents. Oh, he's been suffering. He's been <laughs> suffering. Like this is a long life. This is this is like this is like uh, Django level bad suffering. <laughs> like he's suffering <laughs> as, a, as a Cincinnati fan. Like what are we talking about, yo? Jesus. <laughs> hey yo, NBA is me. back. The <laughs> NBA is back. We got it on right now. We watching right here. It's a good time. It's a great time to be alive. It's a great time for sports. We got NFL, NBA going at the same time. MLB is going on. This is like the best time of the year. But regarding the NBA, what are some of the whoa? Gordy Jane look tough. <laughs> what are some of the biggest NBA storylines that y'all looking forward to this season? Oh. You know, that, that, that was a bad, that was a bad slow motion. Yeah. What's some of the biggest storylines y'all looking forward to this season, going into the seventy fifth season of the NBA? Um, just, I mean, might, might as well just say what you might as well say what the most interesting, the most the most interesting team in basketball was the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, I mean that's the biggest storyline right now. There's always gonna be that Kyrie cloud hanging over the team, as long as he's unvaxxed. So, I mean that's gonna. How do they, how do they do with all that all that going on in the background with the Kyrie situation? I think they'll be fine. Yeah. I think they're going to win fifty plus games, and you know they, they'll they can get through most of the playoffs without Kyrie. I think they need Kyrie for a potential series with the Bucks and, and with the Lakers. But everybody else, they can beat. I, I, Miami's Miami's scary. I, I think the Miami's gonna be really 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 good. They're they're beating the brakes off the Bucks right now. Um, they're they're a problem, but. I still think they can get through with with guys with KD and James. So yeah, that the Lakers, the, the, everyone calling them the old Lakers, right? Everyone's old, they're old and everything. But I don't know Bron didn't look old to me. Bron looks like the best good. player in the NBA to me. Bron looked good, and you know who else looked good? You know, season has started. Obviously, it's night two. Giannis, it might be really scary hours over in Milwaukee. That boy Giannis looked good, and I don't know if you want to admit it or own up. To no, he hit, seven, he's hit seven for nine from the free throw line. If he's doing that, they if he's it. shooting, well, Greg, he heard what Greg was saying all last year about <laughs> how he's boring to watch and all this. But 
He's he was not fun to watch. If he's shooting in the high 70s, 80 percent from the free throw line, yeah, he, they then they had really have, and that's why I'm saying I think they they can't win that. They can't win a series against a buck without Kyrie, which like something's got something's got to give. Um, they really need Kyrie to beat the beat the Bucks. Now they have Kyrie. I'm straight. I, I'm good. I really am because I Kyrie's instant offense. I'm good. They'll win that series. They will. They really they would have won last year. Um, but Giannis has definitely came back better. Yeah. Give him credit. You see, I, I, Ben skewed this for me. Ben Ben came back looking booty every single year, the same old guy. I'm over here thinking, you know, Giannis is of the same. Is built the same way. He's not. He's built different. He's he's built for tough. Right, he's built. He's built. He's built different. So I, I'll give him that. You get. He definitely got better. He got better. But speaking of Ben, that whole situation. This is the funniest dude in the league. I don't know what else they could have expected from that. Like they thought him coming to camp that he was actually going to take <laughs> and participate in camp. Doc, you knew. Doc, I don't. Doc Rivers. You knew darn well he was not doing that defensive drill. He was not doing anything there. I just wish on the entertainment aspect, he should have went like full James Harden. He should have threw the ball at Doc or something. Like, <laughs> we knew this was going to happen, but you could have gave me some more. Like, even on that aspect, I, it's just weird, like, with, with Ben. And then the situation with that, too, is like, yo, you can tell none of them rock with him personally. I mean, you were in B. I don't care about. I don't that care man. about that man. <laughs> None of them has stood up or spoke any, unless I'm wrong. I haven't heard any teammate speak good of him. But we had something similar happen, and I was listening to a podcast, and he brought this up, and I'm like, "Yo, that's actually true." Markel Fultz. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody, oh yeah, everyone came to his defense. They love him. It's just something happened with him. He'll get through it. Be quiet on Ben. I listened to that podcast. I don't know what podcast you're talking about. Bomani Jones, oh, shout yes. to Bomani. Yeah, me and Bomani. They, they quiet on Ben. Nobody got nothing to say about Ben. They want Ben gone. And that situation is going to be intriguing because I think Embiid is going to have to go full MVP, which he's capable of, but Embiid consistently doing that in health. If he didn't get injured last year, if he played 10 more games, that's MVP. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Are they – where did the Sixers finish without Ben? The Ben story is, 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 is entertaining to talk about because Ben is crazy. Ben, the, ben, the, the problem with the Ben situation is Ben is acting as if he's a superstar. Yeah. You're not good and enough not, to do this. He thinks he is. Well, they're in life. And yeah, you're right. And I think that that's because all his life he's been told how good he is. And no one talked about right. what he couldn't do. No one told him the truth. Everyone told him. And he is very, very talented. But they never told him what he couldn't do. So he never really got better. He never, he never thought he had to get better. Yeah, but even when the media talked about him last year and in years prior – you still hear them talk about him as if he's a star, right? The only thing is they because what they do is even though he can't shoot the three ball, they'll say he can't shoot the three ball, but he can do this really well, right? His defense is outstanding. So in his mind, it's like, all right, cool. I don't need to shoot the three ball because they still consider me a star. And he's I mean, and that's he, what he's settling for because he's a, a star. That's it. But he's acting as if he's a superstar. Yes. You you'll get to the All Star game. You you'll be voted on. That's One enough for some players though. One of the defensive, but if that's the, if that's the you case, the wrong you can't city. act like you can't act like that though. You went to the wrong city. You were the number one pick. You went to the wrong city for to be a, to, to settle. That, you don't want to settle there. If you if that's who you are, then they should have traded you a long time ago. And I've always thought he was overrated. He's over. I mean, look, I, I heard Bron comparisons coming out of high school, coming out of college for him, and I did not he see. Got that drive. There like is Bron. not. There is there is not a Bron out there. I heard this. I Zion, Zion heard the same thing. I was like, man, Zion, 400 oh, we're pounds, man. We're going to talk about Zion. We're going to talk about Zion later. You got compared to Bron? We're going to talk about Zion later because that's a that's an interesting and dude. Speaking of Bron, what was your thoughts on that Lakers first game? For me, Russ needs to play like Russ. And I mean this in the aggressiveness. Like, bruh, you just got to – in this situation, it's kind of like when you see the All-Star games, when you see the players in the Olympics – you know, you got to play your role. But at some point during the All-Star game, during the Olympics, you see a, a Braun, you see a Kobe, a KD, especially during the Olympics, like, hey, bro, you a killer. Go do your thing. Russ was in some, like, timid. Tiptoeing around. Tiptoeing yeah. around. He didn't look – he didn't seem like he had that drive, that mean streak. We didn't get to rock the cradle at any point. 
it's times where I'm like, yo, he definitely could have. He was scary, man. Put that mm-hmm. on somebody's head. He played scary. He played like he had all the bloods and crips he grew up with watching him in the crowd. And he just couldn't know what to, he didn't know how to function. That's that's what <laughs> that's what happened. That that's that's what happened. It didn't look it didn't look good, but I I think he'll be fine. I I, I was in the I was in the chat saying he played, he played like 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 I can't say what I said. Dog booby. Yeah, he he, he played hard. But he was a minus twenty five. You know all the Russ haters out there, and there's a lot of them. We're gonna easily pile on, on on him for that, but he, he'll be fine. The team will be fine. I actually think that the biggest loss for this team right now is the fact they don't have guys like Kendrick Nunn and and, and THT. I think those guys are gonna make a huge difference because the, the Lakers they just need bucket getters. Like they just need a couple. They just need a couple bucket getters. And T and Kendrick Nunn can shoot the three, shoot the three ball at a nice clip. He can score at all three levels. He's a really good offensive player. He's a microwave guy. But I, I think he's he can be a little bit more than that. I think he can be a really solid role player for you. And then obviously THT is, so, is talented. And he THT could start for this team and you'd be okay. Like you could legit start him over Ken Bazemore. I think Ken, I thought Ken Bazemore did a good job. But he played his role. But he played his role to he a team. I think they have guys that can make shots with this team. I, I think that the challenge, I think the, the piece that's gonna have to come together is how are we using Russ? How are we getting Russ involved? Do we do we do we play Russ more with the guy, guys off the bench and let him be they himself. Need, they need that because yeah, that you know. him and Rondo mix. No, I never again. And I don't know why they tried that. Anyone can tell you that wasn't going to work. I mean, come I'm on. I'm watching this and I'm like, bro. And even in that, I'm like, all right, I guess, I guess, I get, I get it. Rondo has some rings and whatnot, but Russ can't bring up the ball even then. Right, yeah, right. You got Russ looking at him just they like his been, hands had, in his pocket. He ain't know what to do. Yeah, Russ cutting off ball like he was Ray Allen. In I'm like, some possessions. I get that with, with Braun in the game. Everybody know you ain't touching the rock. Braun's the point guard. The best but once he comes out, that's when team. I think you could let him get busy. All right, you with the young boys, and he's obviously a willing passer. He plays with a THT off the bench. Malik Monk, who played pretty well. He played with those like with Trevor Reza, who could shoot that three in the corner. You play with them. He's getting down. He's getting downhill. He's, downhill is open shots. Yeah. And Melo come off the bench. Melo looked good outside of that pump fake free throw, which I don't understand. That. I didn't I get that either. And he was laughing. That's actually when the game turned. That that was the last thing I remember. The last thing I remember, the last positive thing I remember about the Lakers was like the shot, the free. He got to the free throw line, then he did that pump fake, and then the game just completely flipped on his head. And from that point on, the Warriors never looked back. I, make no mistake about it. The Warriors are not better than the Lakers. Make no mistake about it. If Bron's gonna play like if Bron's gonna be like play like that. They'll figure it out. Bron's gonna play the way he and I'm, I'm telling you, they're they're in trouble. I don't think they're better than them, but y'all tell me what y'all think on this. I think the Warriors are a true threat in the West, though. I was yeah, because they got a bench, and they, that that they played well. Obviously, like I said, Lakers had some struggles. Lakers that had a full squad there, but Clay not even back yet. I was gonna say when Clay come back, Clay not even back yet. Bro. Yeah, but it's gonna take time. To you see, yeah. I'm I'm factoring in the amount of time it's gonna take Clay to get back, actually at bat at NBA level speed. Coming off of two injuries like that, is they're, they're not going to get Clay. They're not going to get Clay back this year. That, they're not getting him back. They're, they're going to get. They're going to get. They're, they're going to get a light. Skin, they're going to get a light skin dude with a headband on. But they're not going to get uh, Clay back this year. No. The thing is, I think what you might not see back this year is his lockdown defender aspect. Yeah, definitely not that right away. But the man, he. He gonna shoot the thing, the catch and shoot yeah. aspect. You definitely getting that back. It's gonna take time. You you talking about a torn Achilles off of a torn ACL back to back? What are we? He's he's not. Last time I checked, his name was LeBron. Only only dude I would feel comfortable coming off two injuries like that is Bron. Bron is an android. It makes no sense that LeBron runs up and down the floor, dunk dunking on dudes, mean mugging. The the, the spring and step he had yesterday, yo, Bron was really frying them crazy. I, I'm talking like I have all the confidence in the world, the Lakers. For because of one man, LeBron James. That's the greatest player of all time. I think the thing with that too, though, when we transition to the next thing, though, LeBron is he doesn't have to be the best player for them no. to win. It's gonna to have to be AD. Yeah. AD was missing free throws yesterday. Like, I mean, you know, like two for seven or something. And, and, and the three ball wasn't falling. He'll he'll get his act together. But AD, AD got to stay healthy. I, my more my main concern is he's you stay healthy. You have the right, and I think he'll stay in that attack the mindset. Yeah. yeah, and I think Carmelo can be a nice piece for them because I think he's a, he's a big shot maker, big shot taker. I, I, I think they have a nice little thing going, but you got to figure out how they're going to use Russ, and it's not going to be pretty at first, but it will get progressively better with time, and that team will be dangerous. That team's going to be – they're going to run through the, through the West, I think, when it's time. Give me your top eight teams in the East. Top eight. Um, Who's making the playoffs? 
I got Bucks. Oh, we're going off like that list. All right. Let me check my list again because I don't have it off top. But Bucks for sure, Nets for sure, mm-hmm. Knicks for sure. I'm taking Heat. I think the Bulls are going to make it as like the five or six seed. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you're going in order right now? No. Oh, I'm just making it. Teams. Teams and oh. um, who else? I'll give you mine. The Hawks. Hawks, too. I think Hawks. that's what, six or seven? Mm-hmm. And then Philly. Philly, okay. Okay. The Hawks are going to be a high seed. Look at this team. They are, they are gelling. Tell you what a grain of salt is. It's the Mavs. They're not. <laughs> you don't, y'all, you don't get to do Wait, wait, wait. Knicks fans don't get to do that. Y'all, y'all don't get to be in my phone, blowing my phone up, and it wasn't Miles specifically. Talking about Knicks tape, Knicks tape, RJ Barrett, because they beat the Celtics in a th- in a thriller that shouldn't have been one. And then watch this team beat the brakes off Luka and then tell me and then tell me pipe down. What did what did the Mavericks do to get better? No nothing. I don't I don't agree. I don't disagree with you, but I but they were still a playoff team. They still have Luka Doncic. But I mean we already knew the vibes with the Mavs though. It's only about so their ceiling is like here because they don't play D, they suck on defense and what, well, my question is, what's this team ceiling with the, with, the, with the alpha dogs they got on that team? Because they got Trey, and I think Cam Reddish is coming. I think Cam Reddish is, Cam Reddish is special. I really do think that. So I, what's this team? And John Collins, the way he's hooping? Hooping for real, like talented. I, this team is serious. They, they're going to be a top four seed, the, the, the Hawks. They're going to win a lot of games. And, think, and, no game, and nobody's going to have an easy night playing Atlanta. How do you see your top eight if you could rank them in order for me? Uh, and really? by the way, you mentioned Bucks getting beat. Not they're getting beat bad, but it's no Drew Holiday. Just throwing that out there. I, th- I thought Giannis was the best player, bro. I thought he didn't need. I thought he didn't need Drew stop, Holiday. Why, stop, why, stop, why stop does he it, need Drew Holiday? Stop. Look, if stop LeBron, it. if LeBron didn't have Russ, guess they're, they're going to win a game. Stop it. Go finish. Can what are we talking honest, about? Bro. I have dudes text me saying Giannis is better. I can't hold him to the same standard as LeBron. Giannis is better than who? LeBron. Why are you talking to these people? <laughs> <laughs> that's facts. That's facts. Give me your list, bro. We're not paying it. What facts. did Dion tell you? We can't talk sports with everybody. Somebody sent me that text. We would have been, ah, man, my phone number changed. What's your uh, top eight, bro? Top, I'm going to go. I think I go Bucks one. I think the Bucks are going to figure it out. I think Bucks one, Miami two, Nets three, wow. Atlanta four. This uh, don't don't get fooled. It doesn't matter where the Nets finish. They'll be it's it's about June. <laughs> it's about June. There's levels to this. Um, you lost my track though. So I went Bucks one, mm-hmm. uh, Miami two, Miami two, Nets three, Nets Atlanta, three. Four, Atlanta four, Bulls five, Bulls five. Knicks six, Knicks six. Which I don't he doesn't love. I think, I think it's interchangeable. I don't I don't interchangeable for real. Okay. Um, how are we gonna round this out? Uh, well, Sixers, and I think I think I you know what I'm not putting no respect on the Sixers. This may be wrong, but I'll, I'll I'll stick with it. Sixers, how many how many teams getting in? Eight, eight, yeah. Oh, I got seven. Yeah, you could give me your your nine and ten seed for the playing if you want, but so Celtics not making the playoffs in your, your mind? Celtics will fill around. So that the Celtics out. are the eight seed. Celtics will round it out. I think the Celtics are about an eight seven seed though. I, after what I saw last night, I know it's the first game. I don't think they played great defense. I don't like the way the teams constructed. I think Jason Tatum. You know, Al too. You know Al for it. I'm not saying he's a great. He's going to help you defensively. He's going to help you defensively. But I mean, so, I, in the post, not in the perimeter. The, the perimeter defense was bad. It wasn't their post defense. That was a problem. But, yeah. He's, I, help. he's a leader for that team. When he was there, they they played well, especially he helped the young players out. Your top eight, who's making the playoffs for you in the East? Bucks, Brooklyn, mm-hmm. Miami. That's three. Celtics. Okay. That's not in order either. Okay. Knicks. Knicks. That's five. Three more teams. Heat. Heat. Atlanta. Atlanta. I'm going to say the Hornets. The Hornets. I got, I'm going to put it in order. Bucks, one. I got Brooklyn, two. I'm going Miami, three. I'm going Hawks fourth seed, Knicks fifth seed, Charlotte sixth seed, mm. Chicago seven, Boston eight. Y'all forget, not y'all specifically, but even our listeners. Before Hayward got injured, Charlotte was fourth. Charlotte was fourth in the in the East last year. I was I was saying, what's Charlotte better than the Knicks? Oh, Charlotte was fourth last year. <laughs> that question 
It looks I'll stick to his stomach right now. I was asking. I didn't put. I didn't put Charlotte. Is it ludicrous? Is it ludicrous? I didn't put Charlotte above them though. Well, Charlotte, Charlotte's going to be. I think they're not going to be a seventh, eighth, or playing team this year. Okay. So if, if if this is all obviously health, health, health. This is all health, and this is with any of the teams we pick. Is health. I think, especially again, call it an overreaction, but game one, you could you can't tell me Lamelo ain't oh. improve over the summer. <laughs> that shot was more consistent, cleaner. Seven for nine from three. That's no scary Terry there. So you ask Gary Terry to the mix and a healthy Gordon Hayward. They gonna be they gonna be a team. I think Uber was a nice ad for them. So I believe in game Uber is a really nice ad. He's still Uber. Hey, I, I think I think I found my player comp though. I was I was but I was thinking this though. And and RJ could end up being better. I know he's about to say something. Crazy. But I feel like RJ is RJ's pro comp is Kelly Oubre. I think Kelly Oubre is a perfect comparison for RJ Barrett. I really believe that. And if, and if I'm wrong, and if I'm wrong, then then tell me who. Then can tell you, me. Can you, can you tell break me that who? down? Break that down for me. Why do you think that's the good play? I think they. I think they both are similar in the sense that they both attack on the, on the line drive. They don't really. They don't have a lot of wiggle to their game. Like they don't break out a lot of moves to get to where they're going to go on the floor. They're not like dynamic playmakers. They don't drive and attack defenses to set up a wide open shot from their guy. Or they don't do that. Are you? Nope. Or they don't do it. <laughs> not even let you get me. Or they don't even do it. All right, don't do it. Don't don't tell me that when he have a chance because I've when RJ primary born and I don't be seeing him do that. So okay, that there's two things, and I think that they're both guys that can hit this. this they think they're both more effective hitting the spot up three ball, yeah, playing playing, and yeah, like their their games are not more off the dribble. Their, game, their games are not designed to be off the dribble. I don't I, RJ RJ has a nice little two dribble pull up jump out of the elbows. All right, like on some George Mikan like type time back in the day, but I don't see it like in and out. Or like pull back dribble, like he don't got that. I don't see that in this game. So and if some, please send me the film, send me clips. I don't see it. So I think that that's I my think, whole comp. I think three and D dude, lefty three and D dude. It's not lazy. It's not even a lazy take for real. It's not a lazy take. He's not. They're not. They neither of them are dynamic playmakers. The thing is with with RJ Barrett though, where I'm taking RJ Barrett every single day of the week. Oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm no, saying, no, I know you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying this. RJ Barrett as of right now. Knows his role, plays his role. He doesn't try to go outside of himself. Right. Kelly Oubre, when you hear all his interviews, you think he's a superstar. He disagrees with everything you just said. Yeah. Kelly Oubre, if you talk in these interviews, like he's the next, he's like mini KD or something. Kelly, so, Kelly Oubre is very talented. That's, people don't think that's disrespectful, disrespectful comparison. It really isn't. Kelly Oubre is very talented. But he's actually underachieved, but he's not a good playmaker. He doesn't set people up. He doesn't have great feel for the game, but I don't think RJ has great feel for the game. So I think that's why I think they're alike. In regards of how you how you view them, and so how you view them, RJ has great feel for the game. Yo, what? The, what? What's going on, bro? <laughs> so in the West, right? How y'all see y'all top eight teams in the West? <sighs> Started off right, top eight teams in the West. I won't, this is not in order, but I'll go Lakers, Denver, um, Utah, um, man, Phoenix, obviously. Um, off the dome right now. Phoenix. Um, I, I think Dallas didn't get in, regardless of how bad they look. They have Luka. They'll get in. Mm-hmm. Um, no Warriors? Of, of course, the Warriors. Thank you for saying that. The Warriors. Um, Grizzlies? Maybe. That's your last team, then. So you saying I, I, Portland doesn't get in this year? Oh uh, no, I'm wild. Portland's getting in. So, Grizzlies don't be a playing team, but Portland, I, I, Portland has to get in. No, I like that though. I like that list. Portland has to. I mean, it's the most, it's the most generic list ever. I think that any anyone would tell you that those teams are gonna Utah, get in. Utah, Utah number one seed. I'll go with Phoenix number two seed. Hmm. I'm gonna go Lakers three seed. I think it's the same thing with the Nets. Don't matter what seed they get. It never does. Don't, really? matter, don't matter what seed they get. Lakers three. Matter of fact, I'm tweaking. You know what? Utah one, Denver two, Lakers three, Phoenix four. Hmm. Five seed, we going to go with Clippers. Oh, my God. I didn't say the Clippers. My five own. seed. Five <laughs> seed. Five seed Clippers. Who did I put in over the Clippers? Six seed. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, but like, no, but seriously, like, there was a team. 
What team doesn't belong to have right now? Nah. Five seed, Golden State, six seed, Clippers, seven seed, Portland, eight seed. I think I'm being hopeful. I think Dallas. I think Minnesota gets in this year. They'll be a playing team and they'll get in as an eighth seed. I like their big three of Cat, Anthony Edwards, D'Angelo Russell. Y'all see on this thing. I, I didn't have a list of I in think, front of me. If I did, I wouldn't have made that mistake. I think Minnesota's going to get in this year. And that's before watching game one. Anthony Edwards, oh, yes, certified bucket, real deal. great personality off the court. This real man, deal. had he'll he'll be set once basketball is done. He, he's set. Cat healthy. We know what he is. D-Lo. D-Lo. D-Lo's got to say healthy. Malik Beasley, as long as he stay away from Larsa. Yeah, yeah. He's good. He's just getting trouble, period. I think they'll get in this year. That's how I see it. I don't I don't believe in Dallas. Um fair enough. I don't I believe in Dallas. Right now. Uh, <laughs> You're playing a great team. You're playing a, a damn good team in Atlanta. We already so. know New Orleans is gonna struggle, OKC gonna struggle, and Houston, they, they Houston's is gonna be the worst team in, the, in basketball. Yeah, Houston, they'll be probably I'll be at plenty of Houston games this year, by the way. They'll be definitely. I know they better. The prices. I'll be with you. I know the price better not be <laughs> exuberant for, for that <laughs> trash that this is going to be. They might win less than twenty. Like the over under for them was like twenty eight games. Yeah, are really, Ariana like, Houston fan? No, that really yeah, might be. Up. That might Lakers. be too she's, much. She's a Lakers fan. She's a what? She's a Lakers fan. Ah, dang! You marrying a good one. She's smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's my granddad. Lakers, don't, don't try to make no excuses for her. She's just smart. No, yeah, she knows she was born. She was born into. I'm, I'm just pointing out her privilege. And then she had the. She had a choice. She, you don't believe in pro choice? Believe it or not? <laughs> no, I don't. I think we. I think you're born and with the sports, sports stuff. With sports stuff. If you loyal, are yeah, you smiling? Sports. If you loyal. With sports stuff, huh? If you loyal. What do you mean? If you're you loyal? I mean, he was born in Cincinnati. What are we talking about? There's no pro choice in this sports game. If there was, he wouldn't be no Cincinnati That's fan. That's what I'm saying. What kind of drug is he on? That's the thing. That's the thing. What kind of drug are you on? It's Jersey, though. You got. I'm saying I, I'm Jersey through and through. But I'm saying you thought he left from Ohio. He's That's loyal. What I'm if you He's loyal. not from Ohio. He's from Family. Connecticut. You should be a you should be a, a metropolitan. A no, sports fan a, area. a Patriots fan, a Celtics fan. Well, thank no. God you're not, because of that, you, you wouldn't be on the podcast. I'll take that. You were for a racist <laughs> organization. <laughs> yeah. So at least, I mean, but Celt- no, Connecticut guys be rooting for New York team. Not often, bro. You come to Connecticut, the majority of people there are Patriots fans. Yeah. Who's your MVP right now? At, at, at NFL? Not right now. I ain't talking about the NFL yet. Thank Who's God. your MVP? <laughs> That's later in the show. Who's your MVP going into this season? Make a prediction. I said Harden. I mean, I feel mm-hmm. like it's just there's no Kyrie. He's gonna. Is there no Kyrie Rain this year? That's the question. Is what that mess up? It messed up your prediction. I think Kyrie will play at some point this year. I do think that'll happen. You talking about where? <laughs> You're gonna play in Brooklyn at some point this year. He's going to. I'm telling you, that's gonna happen. At a party. All right. So then, if he's Kyrie, gonna play. You're saying, <laughs> you're saying that's gonna take away from Harden? Yeah, I think. Well, yeah. But, but at what point does he play? If he comes in the middle of the season and Harden none. Gotcha as a number one you seed. Don't, you don't win. Exactly. Yeah, but you don't win in the regular in the middle. Uh, if, if that was the case, then I Embiid mean, would have won it last year. But well, he got, he got injured, work. but I'm saying with if Harton's balling out as we think he's going to do halfway through the year, you can't then, like, let's say Kyrie comes back, all-star break, for example, throwing it out there, right? That's what, 20, 30 games left? Kyrie ain't the reason why the Nets are in that situation. I have to still give that respect to Harden. I, I think they would. I just think his numbers like a little dip, and you know the fans are so not the fans, the, the writers, the writers. Are, stu- are stupid. So they would probably go somewhere else, like a boy with an Embiid who's an average forty or something this year, something ridiculous, or Steph who will average thirty five because Steph's gonna he, he might have to at times. That team, that team's a little little dry of scoring. Don't, don't, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not as big on the words as everybody else is. I think they're going to be good, but not great. I'm not scared of them. I think they're back to playing how they they were playing. You saw last year they was trying to get Wiseman and some of the young players involved. I think the, I think the Wiseman experience, experience maybe maybe short lived there. I don't oh, it's done up. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're getting back to playing more so like Warriors spread out basketball. Five, five, Bel- guys, five guys. I'm going to say his name, Belicia, whatever. Be, oh yeah, Belicia. Be, be, Belicia, be, 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 bro. The fact that you can pronounce that's crazy, bro. Yeah. 
They playing war. Yeah, they're playing they playing five. They're playing spread out five guys. Let's, and let's ball let's, movement. Let's ball movement. movement. Let's, let's let's get these threes up. Let's take seventy threes a game. That's Warriors basketball. Let's have Jordan Poole pull up pull up with twenty three seconds on the shot clock three times in a row. Hey, let me tell you something. If you're gonna do that, I, I'm not scared. Of you. Now that that I, that was I, stupid. I know Steve Kerr talking to him today, looking at the film at that because. You remember that sequence, bro? It was bad, and they was off too. Like one hit the left side of the back. Who do they think he is? One had it's, an it's air these ball. Lights, it's these light skinned dudes. I swear, man, they all think they can shoot because they light skin. And Steph Curry said a bad example. <laughs> you know, if Chris played, but once to play basketball, you can take a mad jump shot. I'm right not light skinned by no You're close enough. Imagination. You're close enough. <laughs> Who's your MVP going to be this year? I, I like I like the Harden pick. I like it for for more than one reason. I I'm, I have a dog in the fight here, but. Um, that's a, it's tough. I, I've been waiting for AD to win MVP for a long time, man. It's not happening. It's not happening. I will wait for AD to win MVP for a long time. I'm waiting because he's he's talented enough to do it. He's talented more enough, than talented enough. As Shaq and Chuck talked about it, even I was listening to all the smoke. Stephen A. talked about Steve. Yeah, Stephen Smith, Stephen Jackson, Jackson. Stephen Jackson talked about Stat. it. Matt Barnes, Paul Pierce. We all know it, and it's no disrespect to him, but. It seems like he – the fact that we're still talking about Rondo and Braun talking about, yeah, they're going to be lighting a fire um, under AD. At this point in your career, nobody should be talking about they still got to light a fire on you, bro. That's with, that, with that being the case, I can't see him getting MVP because that MVP is that – typically it's, that's, that's a year where you like, yo, Steph, Harden, Westbrook, they just went out and was getting it. You think though? You think any of those nights when they won MVP, Westbrook when he had a triple double, somebody had to hey, get up, Wes. Come on, <laughs> Russ. Let's get it going today. Come on, let's get it going. No, and that's the thing that nobody agreed with me. You know they won a championship and whatnot. But as a Lakers fan going into it, man, they we, they traded for AD and like, oh yeah, we get Anthony Davis. I'm like. Okay. I, I, I think I he think, has the talent. I think if he drama. stays healthy, I think if he stays healthy, there's a shot. The thing is, even if he stays healthy, he don't have that consistent drive where if he wanted to. I'm not out on him yet. I haven't sold all my ADs. I'm not saying I'm sold on him because he's talented. He's going to be a vital piece in the Lakers. I don't think, you know, talent, saying he's talented like that is really understatement. I think AD is one Lakers. of the most talented basketball players who's ever lived. But that's the thing. He Period. Don't, he don't have a motor to match. Period. Really, so I don't, I don't I, that's not a hot take. It don't matter though. He has the he. You could put him in. You could put him in the top seventy five now. I don't even darn. He he don't have a top. He don't have a top seventy five heart. Top seventy five engine. I don't. I don't. Top seventy five drive. Right, at, yes, I agree. As of right now, you are correct. So that that's the thing where it's like, hey, I'm not knocking it. He can shoot. He can dribble. He's he's got post moves. He's got. He's everything that people want Giannis to actually fully become. If I say the eighties better, Giannis I said that. I've been you saying that for a long time, but. Right but now, I'd like to stand the on drive that. to go out, because in any night, if and LeBron is willing to do it, AD should average 20, 28. I think this 14. year. I think this. I think this year that's a real. I just just gotta stay healthy. You put on the weight. You put on the weight. I'm serious. Like I'm not paying for MVP, but I he's a dark horse for me. Uh, I, I, but MVP, I would. I don't know, man. I, no, I can't. I don't think I could. I, I don't think I can handle another step MVP. Giannis. He'll probably be honest, yeah. Gotta go Giannis. Yeah, I can't handle that either. You know what? Give me a step for MVP. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Giannis? He's not he's not doing what, what he did last year. Like you said, he's not playing boring where, where it's just it's dunk not, after dunk after not, dunk. You know what it is? I, I realize what my problem with him is. It's not him. It's just the, the coverage. Walkie. It's Milwaukee. And the coverage. It's irresponsible. You, you're talking about Kendrick Perkins. I almost said something. I can't say it. And the prick is gonna go on ESPN and talk about oh he's a, looking the camera all slow and stuff, breathing all heavy after eating. I'm sure you had Popeyes for lunch or something, and he's over here talking about some oh yeah, Giannis is the best player in the world. Listen here, Giannis is the best player in the world. I'm like yo, go to bed. That's like, not responsible after one game, bro. It's not even just one game. Did LeBron go somewhere? Well, yeah, like, no, no, no. I but I'm saying you know he's uh, doing yeah. That. Well, off the hype of the one game because he's game. a hot take dude. He's a, he's the paid hot take dude. Listen. My hot takes are, are genuine. They're not sponsored. I, I don't get paid for this. I just tell you <laughs> what I really think. And if I did get paid for this, it wouldn't change the way I feel. Giannis, 
will not be the best player in the NBA until LeBron James is no longer playing. You got to think LeBron James will always be effective enough to be considered the best player in basketball. He's an android. It, the, the way he, it don't make no sense. He, you're 37. Why are you moving like that? He about to be 37. It don't make any sense. They, I think. Like, we don't talk about it. This isn't a hot take or whatever, but I think I'm choosing Braun to win MVP. I don't think this is a bad pick at all. I'm choosing Braun to win MVP. I know, it's never a bad pick. To I know how – you. I mean, we saw the workouts and we saw – him this summer, he's pissed. He's pissed. They talking hot. He been talking hot he's, all summer. He's pissed, bro. Like, like he's not him. That's really him. It was the shortest. The thing with him, he is a freak of nature. But freak of natures are built on their routine. Yeah, that was a shortened off season, and now he had his full off season. Man, Game good one luck. and good look. Preseason, they did some bull, and I they think did. that's why they came out and lost I, game one. Yeah, I didn't know too. They they took it lightly and wasn't getting the right rotations in. But bro, nah, bro. I think I think this the year he on a mission again. Just like all right, let me show y'all. I'll be done when I tell y'all I'm done. <laughs> Whatever I want last to chance to win, You think with his age? No. no. Bron got like two, three years. <laughs> yeah. Bron can play. Bron might play the next five years and still be a top three. At, at the end of his career, he'll be top three player in the NBA. You know what's crazy? I was looking at some of his stats because he just uh, after game one, he's now number eleven all time on three pointers made. The dude might really retire top ten in dag near every scoring cat every every offensive category. He might end up top ten and defensively, he might end up top fifteen in every category. That's wild. Don't talk to me about That's why points, rebounds, assists, steals, three-pointers. The man that everybody says can't shoot. Three-pointers made, blocks. This ghoul is don't, going to be finished. That's don't, that's crazy. Don't compare him to anybody. Don't don't talk to me about Michael Jordan. Michael who? I don't want to hear it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm serious. He's he, LeBron James is the best player to ever live. Period. Yes, not a, and that's sure as heck not an odd team. Five teams over and under. Give me your quick answer on this. Nets over and under 56 and a half wins. Under. Oh, I'll take the I'll card to be under on that too. I'm under. not mad at that. I got under. Lakers. I hope I'm wrong. I think I could be. You could we could be wrong about that. Lakers 52 and a half over and under. I say under. Yeah, I say under, under too. <laughs> I want to say it's over. Why are they why, we're not gonna dinner? I think they'll gel after a month. Damn. No, they're still gel, but I think they're you gotta account for injuries too, baby. The guys are gonna sit out. I think AD not going down. Stop saying that. <laughs> I think. I think for real, please. Track, track says otherwise. It's just not good for basketball when he's out. I, I don't. Think, I don't. I like watching basketball more when he plays. He'll be the Lakers are going to be number three, or number four seed. They're not going to be one of the top two seeds. I think Utah. They got the chemistry. They got the gel. They'll be one of the Utah yeah. and Denver going to be the top two seeds. I don't think Phoenix repeats this type of year. They'll be a top four or five team, but Phoenix, you know, you kind of saw Phoenix yesterday. Phoenix is not. Phoenix, doing yeah, Phoenix ain't look too good when they're naked. Bucks 54 and a half wins over under. I say over. over. Yeah, they're a regular season team, so yeah. Over. Hey, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I don't think that's they just won a championship. Don't just I was about to say don't, man, just, don't just be like they're a regular season team. Won the championship last year. Come on, put some respect on that. Now we said two over. And, and sent the Nets home. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't I didn't I hated Milwaukee before they sent the Nets home. It's something about Milwaukee I don't like. <laughs> what they got the ring? That's no, it's not about I, I told you before that. I just don't like Milwaukee. What is there to like about Milwaukee? Like what is was there? It, they got do you want cheese. to go to Milwaukee? Ever? They got good cheese, though. I heard. Oh, I, I think you see. You said cheese sticks. I've been listening, but you said cheese, so I don't give a damn. Like, what are we talking I about? I mean, you like cheese. You always get quesadillas. <laughs> yo, <laughs> so, yo, yo. Miami <laughs> Heat, forty-eight and a half wins over under. Over, over. Just stay healthy. Over. And of course, we are the New York Knicks. Over. What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> 39 and a half. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. That's that's, that's disrespectful. But it's the Knicks, so I understand. So over, but I understand. <laughs> I understand why they did that. It's the Knicks. Yo, the Knicks go. If they lost the game last night, I, I was dying when they when they hit that when Marcus Moore hit that corner three, I was dying. Yeah, you was tweeting from your burner. <laughs> <laughs> I made no burner. I gave my jokes off from the original, bro. I, I should make a burner though. I probably should get a burner. <laughs> Flag on the play segment. 
first one, except for the climb. Reportedly, Zion showed up to training camp over 300 pounds, yeah, except for the climb. This, we talked about that. Except, I mean, this is something that's going to be a problem his whole career. Like, he just – he's got to get this in check. If he did show up 500, uh, 500 pounds, <laughs> he might, 300 he might, pounds, he might as well be 500 pounds. He might pounds, as well be 500 pounds. <laughs> like, you can't do that. Your size, the way you jump, and the way you move, you need to be as light as possible for what works for you. And, I mean, 300 I mean, pounds, you might as well be, This is Booger on yeah, Monday it's, Night it's, Football. Yeah, yeah. Saying, it's Booger. He's Booger. So, last episode, Greg mentioned, we talked about it. Looking back at that drive, do you – Take John Moran over Zion. Kevin Perkins stole my take. Mm, I would. Yeah, I know you. I, I want to see what what Miles' thoughts on that one is. Well, Miles, like Miles, I mean the longevity of it. I would take John Moran. Yeah. But if you could guarantee Zion doesn't get hurt, oh yeah, I mean then I'm taking. I, that's why I took into account when I said that, yeah. and I and I thought that from the beginning. I was thought that John Moran's a franchise chasing player, and I also say this: I I don't blame Zion. I have a different take than you guys. Zion lives in the South, and the South is something called Raising Canes. If there was Raising Canes up here, I'd be 300 pounds too. Raising Canes is the best. Is the best. I see almost. Is the best food I almost had. I think he'd be going to cookout too. Cookout is amazing too. Yeah. If I if I had that kind of food up here, I would be. I would and be the prices that cookout too, bro. You get like five burgers, chicken sandwich. You could get a banana and fudge, you know he eats whatever milkshake he wants. for like fourteen dollars too. Yeah, he's Bojangles. too he's too he's too young to eat. He's too young to be eating anything other than burgers and all that. He's going to enjoy that shit while he can. Oops. <laughs> He's going to enjoy it while he can. He, he better take a, a page not, out of though. He huh? better take a page out of, out of MB book. Remember we saw MB was eating them burgers and <sighs> yeah, didn't pan MB out. hasn't so, stopped. Oh, MB hasn't stopped. MB looks obviously, the same. Obviously, so you know, because this is Greg versus science. Greg, for y'all don't know. Greg eats whatever he wants, but his justification for it is I'm going to work out and I'm going to put in the work to make sure what I ate doesn't affect me. Facts. I think Embiid has got to that point where, but, hey, I'm going to eat whatever I want, but I'll put in the work. Yo, Zion, you can't tell me he's eating Bojangles and like, all right, I'm going to go put in four here's hours. The problem, though. He's here, not doing that if he's coming to 300 pounds. I agree, but here's the problem. You're, you're also talking about dudes that are eating massive amounts of food in one sitting. When I eat whatever I want, I'm, I'm, I, yo, it's a one shot chop. Like it's, I'm eating twice a day, maybe, and they're not that big. So if I go get a five guys burger, which I did last week, and it was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I, that, I, that was it. I didn't, I didn't go have five guys and then go get McDonald's and then, I'm not like they, these were just wild and they really, eat, they really mix in their, their, their food. They mix in meats, mix in cheeses. They doing, they doing all types of crazy stuff. <laughs> so that's the problem. That's the, if you want to talk about the problem is that's it right there. How about no, what it comes down Small to? portions. Portion control. If you want to eat whatever you want, portion control. How about that? Yeah, but when you're, when you're at this yeah. level, when you're at this professional level, you don't have that luxury of eating whatever you want. I, I, there's I, no I, way around it. You, you don't. You, you can't perform at, at the, the level you're supposed to perform and still you know, come out here and eat whatever you want. He needs to have a chef that cooks healthy food for him, and clearly he needs to change his personal trainer, whoever he has training him, because it's Coming to camp at, at three hundred plus pounds. Last I checked, that whole situation is weird too. Because I know he don't he got like family representing him, and I think family helping and all that. So it is. I think it's a messed up situation. Zion's a southern boy. He he wakes up in the morning having fried chicken and waffles. Uh, <laughs> what, probably, what are we? These southern still, these southern dudes be eating whatever they he's want. Still probably eating catfish and grits. Yes, every more every yo. Which I ain't had in a while. Zion, two hit. two things: rice, salmon, spinach every night. Just just have it every night. You'll be straight. I mean, and try not to have five plates while you're at it. Yeah, he <laughs> might he might have to get uh, what's that called? Where they staple your stomachs? He oh. might get one. Yeah, right, you're wild. What's the next time? You're wild. Yo, we're not. We're not. Yo, yo, we're not fat shaming on this show. <laughs> we're not fat shaming on this show. He's wild. <laughs> I didn't say all that. I'm talking about if he can't control his eating, that's what you get staple stomach for. Oh no! Because if you, because in that situation, that surgery, if you continue to eat like that, you break the staples and you actually do more See, damage. Tom, he, he gonna get these 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 statements off because he puts if in front of it. <laughs> yes. Well, he's really not even including he's not, if. He's no, just he's saying. not. He means that. <laughs> ben Simmons. Next topic. Ben Simmons is got suspended for one game. Got kicked out of practice this week. 
And reports came out today that he will be out indefinitely for, you did it right, back soreness and mentally not being able to play, except or decline. I'll accept. He should have did this from jump. <laughs> he should have did this from jump. Why y'all waste everybody's time? We know you wanted the bread. Come in, and I was saying this. You fake an injury. Oh, my knee. Oh, my back. And he did the right thing. He chose a back injury, which is kind of hard yeah, for them to try to prove. If his knee, oh, I sprained my knee. They can do MRI. My ankle, they can check that out. Oh, wrist injury. Nope, I chose back, so I know this was calculated and was chosen that way purposely. He's supposed to meet with them tomorrow to talk about what they want to do. But should have this from jump, bro. Why did you waste all the whole organization's time? You wasted the players' time who technically right now, because you're on the roster, they're your teammates, so you wasted their time. We in the locker room got to answer questions about Ben. I don't want to talk about this, Joker. You could have just did that from jump. Either fake the injury, come there like, I'm trying to get my bread, y'all, my back hurt, or go full James Harden. Look, so come back 500 pounds? Fat suit. We knew he wasn't no 500 pounds. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know. You saw that uh, guy in his face. No, nah, man. Harden, 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 he got makeup done and all that. He Harden to, lives in Houston. No. The food in Houston? He wasn't in Houston. No, he was flying back and forth with little baby. He wasn't in Houston. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was. No, when, yo. Let me you remember you. the Nutty Professor? Yo, that's what he got done. He got a little mask put on and everything. Ain't no way. Come on. You know Let's keep it at that. Here's so James Harden put on that much weight, and three, day, three days later in Brooklyn, that joke was slimmed down. He was drinking Slim Fast all the time. He got the hell out of Houston. Yo, Houston, there's a Raising Canaan's on. There's a Raising Raising Canaan. There's a Raising <laughs> <laughs> He wanted to be back on so bad. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it was that good. I didn't think it was that good. No way. But, yo. <laughs> Crazy, bro. <laughs> Yo, there's a raising canes, uh, raising canes on every block. So I, I will be, I will hitting them junk. Yo, when I'm, when I'm down there, I'll be wilding for real. Like it's a problem. So I'll show them when you come back. Yeah, whatever. Get that all out of here. I'll be looking better than you. I be coming, I be coming back from Houston, still giving you buckets. I was, <laughs> Any more takes on that? I think this is about to get real messy. You got Daryl Morey coming out talking about, yeah. yo, this is going to be, this situation is going to take four years. It's not going to happen overnight. Yeah, he's crazy. He's being stubborn about it. He's not budging. So he needs to budge because the more he doesn't budge, he looks like the idiot. Because again, you know what I mean? This is your team and, and you're, you're, you're holding this distraction over that, their heads. Like, how are they supposed to, to focus on on the playoffs and, and whatnot and having a, a positive season when the Sixers are in the, the media every week unrelated to their performance and their play, right? It's Ben Simmons still in the, the spotlight. I think – I think yeah. I agree with that. I think what needs to happen, Joel Embiid needs to pull his I'm the leader of this franchise card, go see Dora Mori. He's not doing that. He Why not? not? He what, should. Why wouldn't he? He Joel should. Embiid wouldn't? He should, in this regard, be like, yo, I don't care what you get. Get him out of here. It's a distraction. Joel B would definitely do that. That's in his personality. He would definitely do that. I, I, I think in the heart, he doesn't like, he does not like Ben at all. He would definitely, it's, it's, Daryl Murray's problem is this, though, we, and everyone knows this, like, Daryl Murray is known for not taking the human aspect of, of being a GM into play when, he, when, he's, when he's making these transactions. He doesn't care about that stuff. It got him out of Houston. And that's really what did him in in Houston. He's the, he's a good GM. He knows what he's doing, but he doesn't factor in the way humans interact into this thing. He doesn't factor you. He doesn't factor in the relationship part of, of being in a, in a team sport. Like if your relationships is messed up, you're not you you're not gonna have any success. Not any, any actual real success. So first round, second round exits. No championship. No championships. Not gonna work. With a team that should have won a chip. The Chris Paul and James Harden was a perfect example. It didn't work. Russell Westbrook and James. It didn't work. Like. They were not friends. He doesn't take that into account. He just said, oh, these guys should work together. I mean, I got a guy who can shoot the ball and one guy who can drive. Hey, let's put it together. Yes. You know what it is? He's mathematicians. They over, he's a math guy. He's an analytics guy. He's a math analytics guy. These analytics, analytics guys are going to be the end of sports. I don't give a damn about no analytics. I watch the, I watch the games. I, I watch the eye test. I tell, you what, I tell you what it is. That's that's what it is. I don't even care about stats. Uh, so I, I don't care. Darren Moore act like he's a GM or uh, NBA my player. The way he yeah. just, the way he just yeah. puts stuff together is because obviously when you know you're how, in a video game you ain't got to worry about you know how chemistry says, and oh Miles doesn't like Greg like you don't have to worry about that in a game you could just you're mm-hmm. controlling every single part of the game you shoot you pass he think he playing two K 
Yep. Like it doesn't factor into that. So that I, I, I am very intrigued to see how that goes because now we got a stalemate because he being stubborn talking about this will take four years, which is which it won't, and he's he's full of it. They'll trade him this year. Next They'll one. trade him this year. Speaking of trades, there's reports that this week it might be happening. The Dolphins will be trading to get Deshaun Watson. Finally. Except or decline. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. I don't know how I feel about that. Tua's throwing balls to the sticks. I they don't, get, they I don't, don't move the ball, man. Tua's throwing <laughs> balls to the sticks. He's not, yo, Tua's not it. Bro, I'm sorry. Tua is, 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 limits that offense. I get it. This is a big competition in the football. I, did it. I get that. I get I get where you're we're gonna go. I just don't even want to take a serious route with this because I just don't I don't But like you asked it. I, I get it. I even even if they do trade Deshaun Watson, he still has those twenty two cases that are that are open against him right now. He's he, and I, I, and if, that, if that trade goes through, he's not playing right away. He's I'm not moving in I'm not moving in. can play right now. Is he on the yeah. commissioner's non exempt No. No. Man, go with a bowl. Go with a chip. Hey, if, if Deshaun get locked up for the rest of his life. After this season, so be it. But go get this chip now. And I'm 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 exaggerating, obviously, but seriously, what? what That's what, like what, taking that uh, the Kawhi Leonard risk with Toronto. Yeah, like we, you know, well, I can get Deshaun Watson for a year. But the thing is, with how that team set up, they're not winning the chip. So I about to say, why not? Yeah, yeah but but defense. This could yeah, set them up for next season because this yeah. season might be just a wash. Just, His case is not going to resolve till next season. Yeah. yeah. Do it. Yeah, I say do it. Do it. Do it and go go win some go win some games. Bring some excitement to the city, man. I'm sure Deshaun will be fine. I think they, mad unfortunately, it's just the reality of the way this thing works. I think he'll be okay. I think, like you said, you do the trade, especially try to just them making the playoffs at this point is probably not gonna happen. But hey, could y'all maybe at least finish above the Jets this year? For real. Hey man, listen, I I, I think I'm coming from a different place. I, I see white folk all the time get the benefit of the doubt in these situations. Just saying, okay. I, I, I so what? Look, Deshaun, go, get, go, go, go get it. I, I, seriously, like what he did was crazy, but make the trade and let the legal process play out the way it plays out. You're taking the, the risk, but that's for the NFL is letting it play out right now anyway. So they, he's Roger not on an exemplar. Yeah, Roger play. Dale hasn't come down. It's just the Texans aren't playing. You not a fight. It, it, the Texans would be if he wants. If he said, "I want to be a Texan for life," he'd be playing right now. Regardless of the case, he'd be playing because they want to win games. It's about winning games. That's all that's ever mattered. Kansas it's City big. at Tennessee. Both top oh, five in yards and points. Kansas City might lose that game. Titans are 31st in pass defense. I want to ask this. Mahomes has had very uncharacteristic amount of turnover so far this season. Who do you put that on? So far this season, before we even choose our our winner, well, you put it on Mahomes because I mean, if you look back in the past, he could have had these same you know interception numbers last year, but you know, drop picks don't count. So, I mean, they're just catching him this year, and Facts. he's making he's trying to force things, try to you know win these games in one throw, and you can't really do that. So. I mean, that's how they lost against the Chargers. And, I mean, that was just bad luck against the Ravens. But, I mean, they're in this position because the Ravens lost to, they lost to a bad boy. The Ravens, it, it'll happen with the Chiefs that game because they, they ran to the best quarterback in football, period. And he, he put them away. He's, they ran to the best quarterback and running back in football. He's like, both. all right, come on. He's, both, he's, he's not the best running He's back. the best ball carrier in football. No, he's not. Yes, he, he, no one's more elusive with the ball in their hands than him. And he doesn't fumble it when he's running. Neither does Derrick Henry. Listen, I know that Derrick Henry is amazing. Okay, I, I, I mean, I'm exaggerating a little now bit. You're downplaying him, and he's like 300 yards ahead of the next guy. Who Derrick Henry? He's amazing. I'm not saying he's not. I'm just saying, yo, this guy Lamar is the most exciting guy. To, I have more fun watching Lamar run than Derrick Henry. I'm sorry. You all on this? this. Well, if yes, this if is this Derek, is entertainment business. It's, this is this is what it's about, man. I, look, what would you rather watch? A, a, a large man just making making grown men look small. <laughs> or a man that's about my, our size, just making dudes miss and outrunning people, like running, like running, like he has, like he stole something. And by the way, I only I can see that. But you see, <laughs> what, like that's that's the way I see it. Like what, you know, what's more fun? Twofold on this one, right? 
who wins the game and picking a spread. So who y'all have winning the game? Kansas City wins it or Tennessee's winning it? Chiefs. Tennessee. Chiefs, Tennessee. 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 I don't believe I'm, I'm off. I'm, <laughs> I'm off the I'm off the Kansas off City it. this year has been starting off extremely slow, and I don't think you can do that against Tennessee. Who gonna stop the run? Are they gonna stop the run, Chiefs? I think Kansas City wins. It'll be a high scoring game. And I think the thing that you gotta re- keep in mind, like I just mentioned that stat, Titans are 31st in pass defense. So I think Mah- this is a game Mahomes kind of gets back to what we're used to seeing with Mahomes, where it's just efficiency, where we talk about three, four hundred yards passing, four or five touchdowns, and no picks actually. Mm. I think that's what we're gonna see this game. Mm. The spread is Kansas City favored minus four and a half. I'm, I'm taking that. that. I mean, winning by a touchdown. You're a better man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're uh, quick. You said I'm taking that. They might come taking that too. Minus yeah. four and a half. I, I don't trust. I don't trust them anymore. I'm off, I, I just I sold them my my cheese stock. Look, maybe it's harder to trust them because this can go either way. You've seen how they played this year. That's true. Last year, I, I obviously last year you old was taking it. Yeah. But at the I same don't... time, the Titans just lost Julio again. Yeah, AJ yeah, Brown's gonna be on a pitch count still. We'll it's all on Derrick Henry's shoulders. And I think the shoulders are big enough to carry the load. But I think it'll be high scoring. And the thing is, I'm taking my home still every day. If we're going to have a shootout. No, oh, home is going to win that. Yeah. We're going to have a shootout. Mahomes going to shoot out. I just don't know I'm what giving, it'll be. I'm, giving, I'm taking my homes. I think that, like I said, I think this is the game where he gets back. I kind of watched him struggle against Washington a little bit. I think he'll be fine this game. First half. That's so why I said they in the second half team. I think this is the game where they start off that first half, and it's like, all right, we gonna let y'all know we here, <laughs> we back. I, I think I think that's how it's gonna start. I, hope, I think every per, everybody in Kansas is hoping you're. Next game, one of the uh, people here is very invested into this game: Cincinnati at Baltimore. Baltimore, come on, yeah, come on. I, I ain't even gonna be stupid. Oh no, I, of course not. That, that's a, it's that's an a, division a, game, though. That's a smart. smart I, I think I think it'll be a hard fought game. I don't think it'll be a blowout like it has been in years past. I, I do think we'll, we'll we have a, a much better secondary um, and a better linebacking core this year. That no, that matters we'll, this guy. No, I, I understand that, but I do think we'll we'll be able to contain him better than we have in, in years past. He's still going to get his. He's Lamar Jackson, like he says. He makes every team look foolish. Uh, we'll, we're going to lose that game probably, uh, but. I don't. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. And and it, the Ravens are playing at home too. That's always tough playing playing on the road. Lamar Lamar takes your linebackers out of the game. Your linebackers can't even play in coverage because you have to be worried about him running on every game, any, on yeah. any given play. He takes out. He takes out your he takes your linebackers out of the play, and he takes your weak side DN out of the play. If he runs, if they run the shotgun set, you have the DN has to freeze and just wait, and you can't pursue. You have to wait. There's no way to guard them. And then, and now he's throwing the ball to eighty percent. He had 400 yards on 80% of passing. I'm done. That's the best. He might be, he he might, yo, he might be the greatest quarterback of all time, but it's all said and done. The way he's throwing the ball, like, yo, I'm so serious. He could he could be the best quarterback to nah, ever nah. play. If he, now you do with, with his no, I'm not. I'm not. I, yo, I'm not. If, 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 if uh, I'm so serious. His uh, you combine his athletic, athletic ability. His, you know what? I'll say this. His peak will, might be greater than any other quarterback's peak ever. Like you gotta think with his athletic ability. You, you can't you can't bring him to the ground. He's gonna get first downs. I got Ted. I said he takes your linebacker out the game. He takes your weak side DN out the game. And then you factor in he's throwing the ball at an eighty percent flip. Like he's accurate. He's hitting the target. He sees defenses. He's reading defenses now. Wasn't that the knock on him that he couldn't throw? So it, I'll make, okay. So Josh Allen can get the credit, but Lamar can't. That's what we're doing. The highest peak. Highest peak ever. of any quarterback. Ever could be Lamar Jackson, yes, and I don't think it's a, it's a, a little stretch. And I'm not doing it. For, I, I'm not doing it because no one asked me for no hot takes. I I tell you what I think. I don't get paid again. I don't get paid for this, so I'm doing this for free. I'm telling you what I really think. He, I, I am sold on Lamar Jackson. I am all in. I think. I, I, I seriously, I think he's the MVP by a mile. I don't think anyone's really close. The spread is six and a half, obviously for Baltimore. Do they win by a touchdown at least? Yes. Mm-hmm. No. What? Oh. Yo, this I team lost so. their this team lost their running back. It's like in between. You don't think you don't think it's gonna be seven? No, nah, it could be. But then again, you said it's a divisional game, so those games. Yeah, but for Lamar, the rules are different. If it comes down to a field goal, well, Lamar rules are different. I don't think it'll be. You don't think you don't think Lamar's capable of having an off night, bro? 
What does an off look for a guy? Even if Lamar is off target throwing, which he just hasn't done all year, I don't think he's going to do it against you guys. He's still going to gash you for 150 on the ground. They can just change their game plan. And it's like, okay, Lamar, start running. Okay, Lamar, all right, now they're biting on the run. All right, let's throw a, a deep shot to Hollywood Brown over here, over their head. There's nothing you can – and Rashad Bateman's back, and then I, they haven't even gotten him involved yet. Yo, they're going to gash y'all up. Like, there's no way to guard – and it's not their fault. There's just no way to guard him. It's not a Bengals problem. It's a league problem. They He could – with the way he's throwing the ball, they could win the Super Bowl this year. Without their starting running back, without their starting corner, they had major injuries. He's the MVP by a mile. There's nobody in football who makes their team better. Like, there's nobody more important to their team than Lamar Jackson. I agree with that. Oh, that – I'll, I'll how do people? I don't know how people see. Why do I don't? I don't know how people can see it any other way. The guy is incredible. Like it's, I've never seen anything quite like him before. Because he's a better, he's better running the ball than than Vic was. Because he runs like a running back, like he really does. Like he runs in between tackles, and he, he's healthy. Well, part of the problem with him too, you, you can't blitz him because he's better when, when the pressure's on. If you blitz him, he's just gonna tear you apart. He's right. too good throwing the ball to blitz him. Like you, it, there's no weakness in his game anymore. That's what I. That's why I'm over head over heels over the guy. He, 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 there's no weakness. Where's the weakness? You could use this field to say you can't throw the outside part of the field. That's gone. You can't say that anymore. He'll hit. He'll hit those parts of the field. The guy sees defense. He's reading it. He's the best quarterback in football. We already know who's going to win this game. Texan Cardinals. Do the Cardinals cover the spread of seventeen and a half? Damn. No. Um. They shouldn't. I mean, damn. Damn. They got Davis Mills starting. Who? He's. He's ass. Yeah, he is, but 17 ass, points? But Damn. I mean, it. <laughs> I'm going to say no just because these are grown men. No, it is. Not on the Texans. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I right. mean, they got on the Browns pretty quick. Lions, Rams. Cleveland. Another one. Rams got a 16 point spread. I, I, didn't point I, I, don't think, I don't think they're going to cover 16. Against who? Rams? I think the Lions, Rams are, better. Lions. The Lions are better than the Giants are, so I think that uh, the Lions will be more competitive. That. They're not going to cover that. I think the Lions will be more competitive than the Giants were. Oh. oh, no, no, no. I'm saying like the Lions wouldn't cover that. They're not covering 16 and a half. Since the Lions are going to get thrashed. Yeah. By, I mean, the Bengals would beat them by five more than 16. I, I think the Rams would, too. I think they're going to come back playing a little angry and play some inspired Matt Stafford? Uh, you don't think he's about to light his old team up? He will light them up. Cooper Cup? They're, they're about to light them up, yes. But I just think that the, Detroit will play harder than that. These are grown men. I'm not, I'm not doing this whole 16. Jared Goff's confidence shot, though, after what his coach said about him. If he does suck, but I think, they'll still, I think they'll still be okay. Just run the ball. Saints, Seahawks. Ooh, Saints. Saints to win and cover yeah, spread. Yeah. What's the spread? What's the spread? Four yeah. and a half Saints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It'll be cool. Jay Bo. I'm not. So that's the game I don't Seahawks, want. Seahawks. Seahawks. Do you think they give a call? You know, Pete Carroll mentioned Cam. He brought Cam up. How they in conversation and talks with Cam? Should they bring Cam into Seattle? I mean, I would say they're tanking for a draft pick, but probably should. <laughs> we got their draft pick, so oh, they, okay. they're not tanking first for rounder. That. Yeah. Because Russ is going to be back, and they said three, four weeks. So, do you bring Cam no, Newton in for sense. three, four weeks? Geno Smith isn't playing that bad. For, for Actually, I think Cam. it might make sense. But Geno's – He'd have to learn the whole playbook. There'd be yeah. a learning curve still. It's not like Cam going to come in and have that playbook down. I think you just need – I think you need insurance no. for Geno because Geno sucks. Yeah, and but Geno has been the backup for like five years. So, he knows the system inside and out. So, they're kind of just, you know. Weather storm. Hey man, you know what? You you know what? No, because yeah, you're right. Because I think the team that needs him worse than than Seattle is is uh what's his what's their face? State the Steelers. So that's that's really where this all begins. Yeah, I don't think the Steelers are gonna call it off. They no. won't. Because, they too, they because, you know how we Pittsburgh. complain about Dame being low to Portland? That's Pittsburgh in regards to Ben. Mm-hmm. They love him some Ben because it don't make no ben sense. Ben is like the perfect face for Steve for the Steelers. He's, he just looks like a guy who'd be from Pittsburgh, and I mean that in the most like disrespectful way ever. I thought he was gonna say respectful, but uh, okay, that's we <laughs> guess we go with that one right there. <laughs> you giants, man, you want to talk about them or we we can? Oh, we, we, we already agreed. We're not talking. About we didn't that. agree on anything. Yeah. We don't agree. You're not going. You, nah, you we were in a seven group chat, and we all agree, bro. Oh, you were in a seven group <laughs> chat. And- <laughs> oh, bro, wow, wow. But are they covering three points? Guess who? The Panthers. No, they're gonna lose. 
They're gonna lose. All right, that's it. Don't tell, me, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that's it. Okay, because they move on to the next team. Because even uh, hold on, uh, let me let me say this. We're not I'll here. I'll make this point. I mean, no, I'm, I'm not critiquing anything. I'll make this point though. In a year where the Giants are horrible, they're still more interesting than the Bengals are. Okay. Let's they still matter more nationally than the, than the Bengals do. I don't. I don't think this year, but I, I think this year. I woke up on Monday morning. What were they talking about? The Giants. The Giants were the most disappointing team in, the, in football. They they rather not. talk about us than y'all. They rather talk about like us than y'all. It's like the Knicks back in the day. But it is that's the point I made in the chat. I don't know if you read it. I said they are cornerstone. Fr- they are a blue blood franchise. Yo, yo Chris. Go somewhere, bro. You want some nothing right now? <laughs> okay. They're a cornerstone franchise. That's fine. We don't need to hear nothing more about the Giants. Yeah, we do because the the yeah, we do. yeah, we do because there will be a conversation around the new GM. There'll be a conversation around possibly a new coach, and there'll be a conversation around possibly a new quarterback, which I don't agree with. I think Daniel Jones is good. I think Daniel Jones can be a franchise quarterback, but fine. There's gonna be a lot of turning or ch- changes changes in New York that's gonna happen. When that happens, we'll talk about it. No, we're gonna talk about it right now. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about whatever I say we're gonna talk about. Hey yo, what's the next team, bro? You're gonna whatever I say we're gonna talk about. We're talking about. You know how many Giants fans in the podcast? Throw him through that slide you know how many times we talk about Kyle L down who you talking to? You 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 yo. You we talk about what I was talking about. We talk about what I said. No, you know how many Giants fans listen to this podcast? You know how many Bengals fans listen to the podcast? Only you! You're the only Bengals fan I know! Fine. We ain't gonna see y'all in the playoffs. Y'all stay home, and we'll still be talking about more than you guys. That's fine. Y'all, y'all gonna watch and and I, and I would argue, I would argue. I don't know how many fans agree with this that I would rather have my team get bounced early than go to the playoffs. God, I, the, the, the playoff losses hurt different. <laughs> they hurt different. If you have no chance, if you have, if you're not a championship level team and you get in the playoffs, it kind of sucks. It kind, it kind of does. Not it's when not you know cute. you're getting better every year. Well, yeah, well, for you it's it different. Sucks for if, you it, it sucks if you feel like you. you for you, you it's be... different, Chris, because you root for a dead end franchise. So when you guys get in, yeah, you got you got you got to capture it's a Kodak moment. Capture them jumps every time. <laughs> but for us, it's not. Like for me, I, I'm talking about championships. I wouldn't just do championships. Man, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm saying facts. I'm talking about I, I'm talking about championships. I've seen two in my life. Two. I'm I'm blessed. I'm blessed, honestly. I'm probably a little spoiled talking on the Giants when I talk about them. I should be more grateful the fact that I saw too. How many of you seen? Oh, I. So, anyways, next next topic. Right, <laughs> stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. Bench mom, we out. Peace. <laughs>